Your good and bad qualities based on who? Based on other people? How could you accurately go on that? Because there are certain things that may be of a bad quality that you have, faults that you may have that can be beneficial for somebody. Maybe they gain from it. Maybe they're within your circle of success. You can put those bad qualities on to other people, but not them. And they keep quiet about it. They stay silent about it because they're not losing from your bad qualities. As a matter of fact, they may say your bad qualities is what makes you a good person. And vice versa, you can have some of the good qualities that you put out there. And if somebody is not within your circle of success, if somebody is not benefiting from it, if somebody is not gaining from it, then your good qualities become bad qualities. So that's why you have to be grounded on who you are. What you contribute to other people, to situations. You got to know that within yourself, as well as you know your faults. But it has to be based on what you feel. You get to look in a mirror based on what a lot of other people say about you. But you can't solely go on that. Because based on what people gain from you or not, then that's your good and bad qualities. Take what you feel about you more serious than what they feel about you. Because it's going to change. It's going to change when the people change. So you have to know who you are and how you feel about yourself when you look in that mirror. That's more important. Love.